Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir. This is my new video using Windows Server 2016 operating system. In this video, I am going to install a DNS domain name system and DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol using a PowerShell and also I will use command line uh, in order to show you couple of add in records in DNS. So here I am showing you my multiple servers and client computers, but I am using only one virtual machine, which is LON dash SVR1. This machine is a member of adatum.com domain. So let's log into adatum.com domain from the client machine. As I said, client machine is in my uh, desktop right now. As a background, LON-SVR1, we are going to open a server manager to verify that if DNS and DHCP roles are installed or not. So we also can verify this from Windows PowerShell command by using get-windows feature. So I am going to open PowerShell as well, but let's check from tools. So if you can see DNS available or not, so I don't see them. So I can go and check from add roles and features where I see I don't have DHCP and DNS. So I'm going to use this command get dash windows feature to see if I do have or if I don't have DNS or DHCP installed, then I will use the command I showed you on the top to install DNS. So this this command will, will install DNS that will include our set or include all management tools. It is very straightforward and very simple. Just go to PowerShell as an administrator and run the command. So this is add dash windows feature space DNS space minus include management tools. So this will take approximately 30 seconds to one minute could be a little more to install this feature. So you also can install this from a GUI way from your dashboard. So instead of doing that one, I'm going to show you this option from Windows PowerShell on Windows Server 2016. So you have seen that how long it took. So now I do have my DNS available. You also can verify going into the console. It is a brand new DNS, no roles and I mean no uh, zones are added. So now you can verify from add roles and features. You should see that DNS is available now. So let's check get dash windows feature command again you're supposed to have a cross next to dns so once you have a feature installed it will give you this small x as you can see my dhcp is still as it is as not installed as of now so but it is available so if i want i can install which i will do so I will go and use same command, but I will replace DNS with a DHCP. So that's how, that's how the command looks like. Add dash windows feature space DHCP space minus include management tools. So same way, but before that, let me see if DHCP is available. Now you will see that here DHCP is not available under my tools but once you install it it should be available but there will be no zone your dhcp will not be actually uh, authorized and if you create a scope it will not be activated unless you activate it but you see that now we have a dhcp available so from the windows powershell I am going to see again Windows feature. Now I supposed to see DHCP is installed. There should be a 
across next to DHCP as well. So now we do have a DNS and DHCP installed. So what is next? So I can add a zone. There is no zone in my DNS console. So if you look at my DNS, there is a forward lookup zone available, but there is no zone. So we have many ways to install add zones you can go and use a GUI method you can go add your primary or secondary if you have a primary available you can add a secondary but i am going to add a dns server primary zone and i can give them any name so let's use my last name dot com uh, i would rather uh, put a quotations double quotes around my zone name and this is a typical a simple primary zone I am not going to integrate into Active Directory because this is a member server where I am installing this DNS so I just gonna use that meer.com.dns typical regular zone file so this will include my zone forward, forward lookup zone and you can verify from tools go to dns if it's not there you can refresh but it should be refreshed automatically so mir.com zone is there with name server and a start of authority records so what else we need we possibly gonna add a host record and i can use command line you can use command line uh, as an administrator you go to command then right click on command prompt again and run as administrator or you also can use run as option so i can also type here run as option user is a datum administrator and you can always type here the console you want to go cmd uh, when you type a password it's not going to be visible you're not going to be able to see any asterisks so hit enter you will get after the password this command prompt with admin rights now i am going to add this a record using a dns cmd on lons vr1 the server name record add means you're adding a record into the zone mir.com and ip 172.16.0201 it is completed successfully now you can go back to the dns if dns is already open so it might not be visible unless you refresh so let's go to refresh and you see my client pc that was my a host record name so you have seen two things the third thing is that you can use a new feature of configuring your dhcp server so you'd see the dhcp is available dns is available so under the flag you can go and complete the dhcp configuration and you can commit whatever you see the credentials there and here you can see that your dhcp now should be authorized and you will see green check mark now you can add a zone if you want to ipv4 zone ipv6 zone so that's how it all works and i hope you would like this very brief and short video but very useful and keep watching my other videos as well and i'm gonna continue using some other command line tools in powershell to show you more stuff thank you for watching this is inayat mir